Hi everyone, my name is Sean Tusi. I'm CEO and co-founder of Google3DApp.com. We are in a startup focused on the idea of 360 product photography for online merchants. In this video, I will go over how to add a 360 spin image to your Wix online store product page, like this one, uh, beside your typical 2D images. We will also discuss how to add an interactive 360 photo like this one or this one uh, to your Wix store, to your homepage or other pages and uh, be able to zoom in and give your potential buyers more options to examine the products and have a better understanding of it. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is my product page. I have four products and the plan is to add a 360 spin image to this beautiful animal shaped vessel here. So to do that, I'll have to add a GIF um, and I'll go here to the images and then I will have to upload my GIF. So before I can do that, I will go to glow3d.net. Uh, this is my page in glow3d.net site where I create 360 photo of different products. Um, that I have. Um, this is the product that have I have already created the interactive 360 uh, photo here. To learn how to create 360 photos like this, um, there will be a card here popping up a video where you can learn different ways of capturing 360 photo using no, no turntable or a manual turntable like a Lazy Susan or motorized turntable. Um, and uh, for different sizes of products from cars to shoes, and, um, accessories and bags and uh, even jewelry, very small items. And um, you could also check our YouTube channel uh, for more videos and tips on how to create 360 uh, product photos. Once you create a 360 photo like this, so we go here and uh, from here we'll download a GIF or GIF. You will see a note that says uh, you can get a better quality or more options if you use our desktop app which is available to our pro account users or use the mobile device which is available to all the users. Um, but for this purpose, um, just generating it from here uh, will do a great job. So I could leave the watermark off or in this case I would like to add the watermark so I'll show you how it works. Uh, I like to get the large and I will press download. So um, bef before I do this, I'll come back here. I could also download MP4. So I had two options and they're very similar. Um, and for Wix product listing pages, you could really add both of them. I personally like GIF more. Uh, the reason is that it will give you the ability of infinite rotation, uh, whereas video just plays that couple of seconds and then the video stops and then if somebody wants to see it again they have to play it. Uh, so because of that I think GIF will give you a more consistent experience as you're generating as you're generating your product. So uh, let's generate our GIF. Once the GIF is done the download gets completed and um, we will, will ask us where to save it. So in this case, I will save it here. And once the save I know is done, I will go back to my previous screen, which is here. I'll go to upload media, upload from computer, and I select the GIF that I just created. Now it will upload it to my media library here in Wix. Once the upload is complete, as you see here, I could select that, it says add to page. Once I add to page, I can keep it as a secondary photo or in this case, I would like to have it as my primary photo because I would like this to uh, bring more attention as people navigate through my site. And I will save it here. As you see, we have this interactive 360 spin as my main image. Now let's see how it will look in the actual product page. So this is my product page, as you see here, and I'll get a preview. As you see in the preview, we nicely have this uh, 360 spin image here, right beside the 2D images that somebody can download and see more details, or they can get a feeling of how the photo will look overall. So I could add video exactly the same way that I went through the GIF process. 
um, and uh, then we would also have a video here and because it is exact same price I will not go over um, that but you can absolutely just export it as a video that we explain and just upload it to the media and you would have a video uh, here as well. But again, the downside of the video in a specific Wix story is that it just plays once and then it stops and then you have to play it again. But this, I believe, gives you a more consistent experience. Now that we've done this, let's go over to our main page and see how we can add an interactive version of our 360 um, product photo like this one. Uh, where we could add it to our blogs or homepage when we get a new product. It would be a great way of uh, showing potential buyers and showing others um, how the product looked like, give them the chance to look at it from different angle, uh, zoom in and educate themselves, as well as I believe it will create a lot of a lot more engagement than a typical 2D image or even a video because this uh, to some extent give them the power and the control over moving it around which I think is very important. So I've added these three items but for this video I will go ahead and add the last piece. I'll go to back to the editor and obviously I'm not going over how to create website in Wix. There's thousands and thousands of videos that I'm sure you guys can search YouTube for in uh, and watch them. So I will focus on the parts that relates to 360 product photography. So I'll go to add, embed, HTML iframe, and it will give me something like this. So I positioned them to the estimate place where I want it to be. Now I go back to glow3d.net, which is you know the website where I create these 360 photos. And this time I go to share and copy link. So as you see here, the URL is copied to the clipboard. Now I'll go back to my page here. I'll say enter code. The only thing is that instead of this, I will just go here and I'll say website address and I will paste my URL here. So the Wix will process the URL and while I will have my 360 photo embedded right here. And now is the time to adjust it to I like it to be and I'm fairly happy with the result and let's look at it how it will look in the preview as you see here this is loaded and we can move it from here to here zoom in see how it looks like and bring it back the same size so I'll decide I'll save it and that's it that easy that fast Thank you for watching.